How do we create a real-time leaderboard for mages and minotaurs? Redis's solution to this is a sorted set, and it's a tool every developer should know. So a Redis sorted set is an ordered collection of unique members. These set members are ordered by their associated score. Whenever you add to a sorted set, you're specifying a member and a score. Sorted sets keep everything sorted from the get-go. Sorted sets are a good choice for priority queues, low latency leaderboards, and secondary indexing in general. To see how we can use sorted sets, let's imagine we're building an online role-playing game called Mages and Minotaurs. In a massive game like this, experience points in particular will be changing all the time. It will be an excellent example for a player leaderboard using a sorted set. Our Redis sorted set provides the responsive, in-memory access that a real-time game demands. Once we're efficiently storing players' experience points in a sorted set, there's three things we're going to want to do. First, we'll want to display the top players. Second, we'll want to be able to display the rank of any given player. And finally, we'll also want to see any given player's score in the game. Let's look at the sorted set commands that enable these features. Let's start with creating a leaderboard, inserting our first player, and incrementing their score value. To add a score member pair to a Redis sorted set, use the Z add command, followed by the key, the score, and the member. The key identifying our sorted set will be leaders colon experience. Each player starts with no experience, so their initial score will be zero. For the member, we'll store the unique player ID. Let's use the ID of 42. Z add returns the number of new members stored in the sorted set, in this case, one. I'll add 11 more players as part of this example. Now that we've added the players to a sorted set, let's start everything in motion. As the game progresses, the player's experience points will increase from finishing quests, battling enemies, and discovering items. We'll add the experience points every player accumulates in real time to our sorted set. To increment a member's score by a given number, use the Z by command, which takes three arguments, the key, the increment value, and the member whose score you want to increase. If the player with an ID of 42 defeats a monster and earns 300 experience points, the command will be Z anchor by leaders colon experience 342. Z anchor by returns the new score 300 as a string. By the way, we can also decrement scores by using a negative integer. I won't punish this player, but know that this is a common practice. Now that we have our sorted set populated with members and their scores, we can access leaders colon exp as a leaderboard and glean some interesting information. What if we want to get a list of the top 10 players in the game? There are two commands that iterate over a sorted set in order of score and return the resulting members, zrange and zrevrange. zrange traverses a range of members from the lowest score to the highest score. zrevrange does the opposite. It traverses a range from highest to lowest score. So for this use case, it's easiest to use a zrevrange command. The full command we'll use to view the top 10 players in our leaderboard with their scores is zrevrange leaders colon experience zero nine with scores. The zero and nine refer to the starting and ending indexes of our range capture. zrevrange's with scores option includes the associated scores in the output. We now have a list of the top 10 player IDs with the highest experience points in ascending order. What if you wanted to display the rank of only a single member, say on a player dashboard? Rank is a relative position by score of the member in the sorted set. A rank of zero refers to the members with the lowest associated score. A rank of one represents the member with the second smallest associated score. We use the zrank command to get a member's rank from a sorted set. If you were to run the zrank command on the player ID 42, the number 11 would be returned. This means in a sorted set of length 12, the player 42 is in the highest rank, having the highest associated score. This rank value isn't exactly intuitive, so we can use a zrev rank command. Zrev rank gives us a ranking with a reverse sorting from highest to lowest. Zrev rank leaders colon experience 42 returns the number zero, which would mean the member has the highest score. 
For our particular sorted set, this means that player 42 is our experience points leader. Finally, how would we go about displaying the experience points of a member on their dashboard, or say, that of the enemy or guild member? We'll use the command Z score, which takes a key and a single member as arguments. When we enter Z score leaders colon experience 42, the score 300 is returned as a string. Okay, let's do a quick review. Sorted sets are an ordered collection of unique values. Each member has an associated score, which is used to order the members of the sorted set from lowest to highest score values. The sorted set can be accessed in ascending or descending order. The scores in sorted sets can be incremented or decremented, which will change the order of the members. To learn more about Redis sorted sets, check out our free online course, Introduction to Redis Data Structures. It's part of Redis University, our online learning platform for all things Redis. Thanks for joining me in this quick dive into Redis sorted sets. Happy learning and see you again soon.